Hi everybody, it's Rachel here. I'm going to attempt to show you what I've been up to with my little cooking binder. I'll probably need more than one binder eventually when I get everything in there, but for now uh, I'll start off with one. I have Lulu here with me. Hello. Say hi to everybody, Lulu. Hi everybody. She's a very good help with uh, my creative stuff. So, um... I'll show you where I'm at. I haven't done much, but I have a few ideas. So any comments or suggestions are welcome. And I just want to say thank you to all of your for all of your wonderful comments and to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate uh, your support and encouragement. So as I'll just remind you, um, my binder is going to have a fabric cover, which I haven't made yet. This is one that soon when I when I have time, I will be photographing to put in my shop. It will just have uh, some regular paper in it. But I like the fabric cover for two reasons, which I mentioned in my first video. One, so you can take it off and wash it. And two, you have some instant pockets front and back where you can slip things in uh, if you want to. So let's get started. Move that out of the way. This is my uncovered binder so far so the other day with Lulu I um, we had made a start but it's very difficult for me so what I did was I think Gail suggested this thank you Gail uh, to fold some of my pages in half and glue them down so that they would be easier to um, turn so these are the measurements and I just glued them a bit in the center uh, hole punched them and stitched around them so they're just my conversion charts uh, there. And then what we did was we made our measurements and um, we were careful that, that when we closed it, see how the pages move forward? We were careful not to go over the edge. And we just made them with a mix, mix of papers. This is a Tim Holtz. And I have a little hole punch. Where's my hole punch, Lily? Oh, here, a tab hole punch. So I bought that. I've been wanting one for a long time and I bought it on Amazon and um, and then I hadn't used it. So I was really excited to get to use that. So um, we made the little tabs and I made them double. So just a minute, I'm off screen here, there. And I glued them together and then I'll just write what it's going to be. And I might decorate here, but I love the paper so much. It's very hard to decorate. Lulu, don't kick the camera. And um, anyway, I might, Lulu might suggest what I might do there. You have a think about it. and Or otherwise, I could just put a pocket, maybe even a lace pocket and I slip things say in. That. Oh, were you going to say that? Well, say it, dearie. You, you could put Clever a chook. lace pocket. <laughs> and then something on this side. Oh, I, I was also thinking it would be really cool to have maybe uh, something made with cardstock. Let me see if I can find something here. No. Of course I can't find it because I'm in my usual state of disarray um, if I were to find something not this one but like a pretty paper I might stitch across the top here with some lace and things and then have some pages there where I could write a few little recipes on there that I could just pull out um, and also when um, one uh, one lovely lady I can't remember who said um, of course we want the ring but the recipe binder to be very practical as well um, I wanted to mention that I love to use I'll just go over and get it um, I love to use my I, I don't know if you can hear me still my IKEA um, book stand wooden I'll show you so I stand my book up in this it's really great um, I, I have it in my sewing room because I have all my papers flying around that haven't been put away on there and that so they don't get ruined um yeah but i will put my book up in there or if i have like a, a flying or a floating recipe sort of card it will just sit in there and i do tend to try to keep my recipe books away from where i'm cooking because otherwise they get really messy and dirty so let's continue so that's what we did with the um the, the uh, to create our dividers so you can see them here here's another one and then another one and I did a mix of papers I, I just can't follow the rules and do um, papers from one set it's just I just can't help myself I always have to mix it up um, this is another one 
I've got that paper. You've got that paper. That's your favourite paper, isn't it? Yeah. This paper is a Stamperia paper. And then this one, this is from uh, the Ledger uh, paper by Tim Holtz. And then this is the last one. And then I had to think really hard, long and hard about the categories. I'm not really um, a starters, mains, you know, primi, dessert sort of person because I usually do one course sort of meals. So, um, and then when we entertain, my husband's a really good cook. He's an only child and his mum is a fabulous cook. And so he usually takes charge if he's not out playing music somewhere. Uh, so I thought I would prefer to divide my recipe book into uh, different sections like rice and pasta, salads, meat, um, maybe chicken. I might separate chicken from meat. Um, soups, uh, maybe biscuits and cakes um, and that sort of thing. I think that will work better. For, and Oh, and veggies, vegetables. So... Um, that's how I'm going to divide it. So I think in this first section, I'm going to put rice dishes, rice, you know, um, quinoa or farro or that sort of couscous. thing. Couscous. Couscous. And so I really didn't know where to start. So what I did first off was um, following on, on from what Gail Agostonelli said. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Um, I folded over some of the pages that I had printed out by Dreams. This is by Dreams, etc., uh, I glued them in the centre and then I stitched around them. So they're all prepared. If I want to write something there, I can. If not, it's just pretty. And I did the same with these ones by um, Nostalgia Graphic Land. So I folded them over and stitched them down. This one here I had written on. Um, and it had another page that just said... Let me see here. I've cut them all out, but I haven't done anything with them. It just said recipes on it. So... That seemed a bit pointless to me, so I'm not quite sure. This is a bit flimsy. It's 80 GSM paper, Mommy, so I might have to glue it to cardstock or something. You could attach or to like, a page. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. To a page, yeah. Um, so, and then here I just, I love this paper, and I just, I've created a pocket, so I'll probably put, I've just slipped this one in there for now because... Um, I didn't know what to do with it. But anyway, I just stitched around it. I didn't, obviously you punch your holes after you've stitched it. So you get them in the right spot. Um, and so that will be great just for uh, cards. And then all I've done is so far is just put in some nice papers and cardstock that I like. But I'll have to slowly figure out how I'm going to use those. These are just for writing on. I could write on that side. That's just pretty. So that's basically what it's going to look like through. Oh, and oh, I had I have to explain this now, don't I? Now that I showed you. Um, okay, so what I did, I have this um, gorgeous old book that I bought in France, and I love the cover. This, no, I didn't buy this in France. I bought it here in Chisena the other the other day when I went. So I love the cover, and I'll probably be making a journal out of this. It's a French book. Oh, yes, I did show this when I went to Chisena. The paper is very thick. It's really wonderful. So what I did was I just pulled out some from the center without um, damaging. Here we go. I cut the threads and pulled some out. Um, and I just glued them together and stitched around them. And I thought um, they could be really fun, collage -y sort of pages to do. So here... What I did just now was I did my normal style of collaging. I've used, um, this was some baker's paper, just some um, eco grid paper, and also just a, that's... Um, frying paper. No, this is, not, that's the frying paper, the cartapaglia. And then this is just um, from the fruit shop where oh. I got my, my I don't know what oh, I got the bags? In. The bags, here, the fruit bag, here we go. The fruit bag. And I love the paper. So I just did a little collage -y thing to cover up the writing and I really like that. And so and then I and this was a recipe that I printed out from um, Pinterest. So I've just done a mix of handwriting and the Pinterest recipe and the photo and a bit of collage. So I think that's really fun. I'll be doing a bit of that. So that I just tried that out now. Yeah. Um, and then they as oh, I can't remember, I, I wrote it down in my book and I don't have my book here. 
um, someone had suggested, you ladies know what you suggested to me, um, to put in a mix. I really liked that idea, a mix of printed out recipes and also handwritten recipes. And, and someone suggested don't um, throw out the ones that you've already written, uh, just put those in. So I thought, yes, that's what, what a good idea. So I'll do that even though it's really messy. And then so I've just gone on and prepared more pages. I don't know what I'm going to do with them except for these ones. I'll probably do those ones in a similar way, maybe. Yeah, that would be nice. And I'll just go through. So that it's pretty much the same. Here's one where I just cut it out. Um, some of the recipes that I printed from Pinterest are the perfect size. So I think I'll just print them out and put them in there like that. Um, the only thing is, you know, with usage, they might um, be fragile. So I think I might see if I can get some of those um, reinforces. Well, otherwise you could put reinforces. like a slip of washi and pull punch a hole. Oh, what a good idea. I could do that. And the other thing is, like, you can decorate the back. Maybe I'll stick another piece of paper on the back even. Um, and then you can write on the back as well. So I think these pages might get pockets on them for yeah, slipping things nice. in. Oh, and the other thing is um, someone suggested some plastic sleeves. I might put some of those in yeah, as well. I, that I haven't um, put that in yet. Um, any thoughts, Lulu? I like so it. this is where I'm at so far. Um, here's one. That I've written on there. Oh, this is one of my favorite recipes. I cook it all the time. So it's, it has very few, because it's kind of a combination of a few recipes that I printed out. I just um, figured out what I liked best. So it, it's not very hard. So I didn't have to write too much for that one. Mommy, yes, Lily. On this white, because this one has white back. You could decorate that one and add like a pocket, a pretty pocket and add with slipping recipes too. Yep. Yep. We'll do that. And then this one I'd already written. I love these papers. So as, as Gail suggested, I folded them over in half and um, glued them down and then stitched around them so they're stronger and it's easier. It's true they are easier to turn. So I've done a few there. Oh, burnt butter biscuits. That my, my granny was English from the north of England and she used to make burnt butter biscuits with a little cherry in the center. They were delicious. Why would I feel like we did make them. Do you don't remember? Oh, yes, I do. Remember. I'm always in trouble with Lulu because I don't do enough baking. So you never bake. I never bake. I know. I'm always busy doing this sort of stuff. Do any other mothers have that problem that they don't bake enough? I don't know. I hear all of you, a lot of you ladies going off to do baking and things. I think I'm the only terrible mother that doesn't do enough. So anyway, let's get back on track. The other thing that I did was um, dream, Dreams Etc. had all these gorgeous recipe um, cards so what I did was I just put some on some of them some old paper. I glued it in the center and then stitched around it because these will be, I can write on both sides. Or maybe this can be, I could do some little cooking journaling on there. Yeah, maybe one day cute. when I do some baking, Lulu, we could journal about it. Yes. Oh, what a good idea. Um, and then, um, oh, that's one of those. Oh, that's a page that I'm working on. Now. You see, now I'm getting into a big mess. And so I did that with a few of them. And that one I just put that. So they could be good. Well, that one can't, can't, but I could put maybe a recipe there or some journaling. And then this one was in the Dreams Etc. kit. I did the same. I have quite a few, but of course, as usual, I can't find anything. Mommy. So let me just try and get it. Oh, here's some more. Here's another one. I think they're really cool. Um, and then, oh, this one. I love that. And then, oh, I put it, oh, what I did was I stitched on a Project Life card onto that. I thought that's a good idea. And, and that's really nice and rigid. And then I had a few pieces of just, see, that's even dirty. A few pieces of random pieces of, I don't know, that was the backing in some packaging or something. I thought I'll, I'll do something with that. Um, and then I have all these images here that I want to use. So... Um, I think I have a few more to stitch and some of them I'm going to use as pockets. Um, and so that's where I am at the moment. And I was, and I, you know, now I've lost where I was. I was doing something. I had a recipe. Um, what have I done with it? Mummy. Yes, Lulu. Lulu, you're you could do even something oh, like this. So this is um, Lulu. She did this no, quite a while ago. You don't want me to show it? No, you can, you can. Oh, this is her little binder where she was doing things in a while ago. Um, so she's, she just goes off and doesn't ask anybody and 
just does it straight away by like herself. You don't like that page. Why don't you like that page? I don't like the drawing. I like that page. And there's other things. So I don't know what what were you doing? Oh, secrets, uh, um, notes, all kinds of things. Oh well, I better not look in there. I do. Oh, like got, the oh, and you've she has stitched a cover that I have to sew up for her, and it's been sitting there for a year. Yep. Oh my God, it's already a year. Oh my goodness, I'm such a bad mother. Oh dear, sorry, Lulu. So here are all my Pinterest recipes and oh my goodness, I was doing something and I can't find it. I wanted to do it now on the on the screen. Where is it? You're a mess. I am a mess. I'm, I'm always in trouble because I'm a mess. I'm joking, mummy. Where's my, where is it, Lulu? I'm a mess too. Oh my goodness. I might have to sign off and come back again. No, that's my list of all the stuff I've got to do before we go to Australia. Um, I've lost it. No, I haven't. I found it. Here we go. So, Perfect. let's clear away all the mess. Okay. I'll make my chair. So, this is my gluing piece of paper. We'll clear out the mess. I'm just... Oh, my goodness. What a mess. Okay. And so, you can see... Don't flip your hands in there. <laughs> so, I had this random strip of um, card cardstock here. I don't even know if it's straight, it doesn't matter. And I thought, I had this little recipe that I haven't even tried yet, but it's Moroccan chickpea and couscous salad, and look, it's even got dirty and I've never even made it. Um, so I've cut it out, it's tiny, um, and I thought, where am I going to put it? And I was trying it everywhere in the book, and, and I didn't want to cover up that page or this page. So I thought, I, found, I came across this strip of cardstock, and I thought I might just decorate it a little bit, um, in my normal random sort of manner so I've already prepared a piece and that's as far as I got because I thought why don't I do it on screen so okay. I've never done that before oh, so how do I know if I'm on screen okay so I was going to put this here I'm just going to try some different layering to see what I like it needs to be oh my god Lily's brought in a big box of stuff oh no that's that's just going to confuse me Will you see if you've got any cool stickers that we could stick on there? So we might use some of this Carta Paglia, which I love. Um, I just try to put things... So I'm going to put the picture there. I might not... No, I don't like that. Maybe these are not good for the... I don't know, Lily. We'll have a look in a second. So I'll put this here, maybe. I might put something... So Oh, it's going to go down the centre, actually, Ooh, even I thought. Ones. It's not going to be much room on there, Lily. I know. There's not really that much room, is there? So, I'll put that there. Um, so, I only need little bits to poke out the side. Okay. So, let's just glue this down and it will make my life a lot easier. So, I'll just get my piece of paper here. I'm just rambling a bit. I don't want to be too long. Oh, you know what you could do? Stamp and stamp oh my goodness, she's my daughter is so she's becoming complex. Oh no, that's too big, Lulu. No, I mean like a piece, like you've got like one well, stamp. Here we are on this using this just this strip. Excuse so I think maybe <clears throat> let me see, I want to put that there. And then the picture there. Oh I see it. She goes, Lulu, what are you doing? I'm trying to get I think I might put you're making out you're putting a shadow onto our video. Oops, sorry. Put that. You could use like this writing it uh, and link and like under the thing, just stamp it a little bit and have a little nice. Oh, what touch. does everybody think about that? Hmm, that's a good idea. Just a second. So let's see. I don't think we need any silly bits like that. Well, so I I they can go into the basket. Um, oh, look, isn't this cute? I bought some antique tree, um, laces the other day at the antique market uh, in Gambetola. And I was wrapping them onto my little um, trim holders. And uh, I didn't realise there were a whole lot wrapped around on this. And I didn't realise there's this cute little old vintage sort of postcard it's kind of bent the poor thing but it's really cute I'm thinking I might put it in as a pocket in my recipe journal recipe book so let me just see what papers I've got here I have these nice papers oh that's nice that would look nice but it's not big enough for that let's 
have a look here. I'll put the basket in the screen so it's more interesting. Don't really have a lot. Um, I can definitely put something to cover that mess. This would be nice, even if it's a bit Christmassy though. You know no, um, I might use some of this. Hmm. Oh, well, I could cover that over and then repunch the holes again. Yes, why don't I do that? These what a good idea. Oh, those are so cute. I bought those in a Japanese shop in Sydney last time we were there and we've never used them. Oh, they're so cute. They're envelopes. I can use those in journals. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I love carrots. Yeah, I was going to say Oh, that. we'll have to put those in the vegetable and I section. And cheese. Let's put them in. We'll have to put those in the vegetable section. That's so cute. Oh, good job, Lily. Don't know what we'll put in there. Maybe oh maybe we can fold up a piece of paper Ooh, this or something. Nice. So I think we'll just maybe. cover up the holes. I can punch those again afterwards. Because that was my dilemma really. Oh, that's nice. Was that there were? Um, oh yes, I like that. Now we're getting. Sometimes I, I feel blocked, and I just can't do it. And then it comes to me. Sometimes things don't work. Might have to print it out again and start again. Oh, I probably should have torn that. Doesn't matter. It's only for me. Just slide that over there. Okay. That's that bit. That's where the the. Yes, I like that. Now, what am I going to put behind here, Lily? Behind do there. Put what do you think? Thing. What? No. Yeah. You can't see it very much. That's, That's the only thing. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, um, you can't see very much. Mm. Mm. Let me see. Oh, what about if I got some, this is pretty fabric. some, some, where's my scrappy thing? Here we go. Look, this could look nice. Got a strip of this. I've all seen yeah, this before. Nice. I make tags out of that. So if I put that that way. Now that's too much writing, exactly. isn't it? That's, that's, that's confusing. Gonna... Mommy, I'm reading my mind. I'm reading your mind. Oh my goodness. What about a little bit of check? Um, grid paper? Yeah. Oh, your grid paper could be good. Oh, um, do we want that grid? Oh, I think that grid paper. This yeah, grid that's paper. nicer. Yeah. Do you want to tell me some of that? Sure, yes. yeah. I need it to be to cover um, that sort of part there. Is this good? Could be. Could be, I think so. Uh, yes, that's okay. Because we'll put something else. It's okay. It's like patchwork. Okay. Or well, you can leave some of the paper poking out, Mummy. It's nice paper. What, the cardstock? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, it's nice. It goes well, it ties the thing. Oh, we could put some washi and stuff on afterwards. Yes. So why don't we say, oh, I would like something. We need something. Lulu, yes. I think we need something, a little bit of something over here. What about a piece of washi? Um, Under. Is no, I, I, maybe over, over. Over. A thin washi. Thin. Thin, has to be thin. What so let me just one? glue my image. Oh, that's nice. Oh, clever chook. Put it down. Oh, I don't like this one. Let's just see it in this colour. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I think maybe the red because yeah, it's contrasting with the... Yeah, because this is green. contrasting with the, the. It's nice with the blue. This is green, so the red and the blue work well yeah. together. So I can't really see if I'm gluing straight because I'm not. I normally would stand over the top. I can see. And I'm not standing. It's straight, mummy. Just a minute. And the cool thing about this is that I'll be able to or write something on the other side or decorate the other side or put another recipe on the other side. And we're putting a bit of some something that I've cooked in there as well. Don't know what it was. Don't know why this poor one got dirty. Because I pull pull out the whole lot when I'm deciding what to cook. You know what'd be really cool, maybe, is um, is if um, is that straight? Yes. If we um, we could draw a line around it. Yes. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, but uh, so that's pretty cool, the, isn't it? In wash I am going to put not all, not everywhere, no, but I'm maybe not. I'm thinking this one. It's not very sticky, is it? No, maybe I touch, put some blue. Put some blue there. Um, maybe. Oh yes, I like that. 
Oh, oh yeah. Me. You're a genius, Lulu. Need something over here. Another bit mm. of this, just a yeah, tiny bit. to tie it in. And plus to the red looks it. nice with that. Yeah, exactly. Very good choice. I'll put that. Where's my holes? I don't want to put it where my holes are. There, where I had it before. So that one is done. So I'll let that dry. And then I'll put the holes back in. And then it's going to go back in my book. I like that. That's really fun. I, really like I think it. we should do, we'll do a line around there after when it dries too. Yes. And I'll just trim that excess off there. So let's do that. Okay. And then this side, I might find a recipe that I could do a similar type thing. Yeah, or otherwise, nice. we might remember that I have all these gorgeous things. Yeah. So I, know it's I thought these could be used in a similar way to the other ones that I prepared. Or to create pockets or to make recipe cards. But I had some other images, I thought. Mm. don't know if I'll use those. They can go aside for something else. Um, I thought well, I, I had like... some other images, but oh, here, here they are, here they are, here they are. <laughs> Done them. So that's too big, because so I really would like to put some of these lovely things in too. Mummy, your item like you could like when you cooked that mm -hmm. recipe, you could write write. Oh, <laughs> you could like write down what like what were the um, reactions. Oh, that's a good idea. So what 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 um what were our thoughts about the recipe, and oh I might need to put a post it on there Lulu I can't remember that, I've got oh, a bag yeah. of new post its over there, where over there in that mess over there, this? seriously guys I keep talking about my mess do you want to see my mess, I'm go I'm gonna be brave oops and I'm gonna show you my mess, this? This? oh sorry, this is. My perm watch out, Lily. This is my permanent mess. I'm gonna. My aim is to tidy it all up, but this is my mess. So, one day when I've tidied, I'll do a craft room um, tour. Tour. So no, I ha just a minute, Lily. Where they are were they? here somewhere. They're just under these papers. There yeah, they are. I did it. Okay, so what was your idea, Lily? Let's write that down. You see, that's why we need to have our daughters with us when we do stuff, because they have good ideas. To write down like a thoughts of the recipe and stuff. And so, and and if, if if there was like any, if we thought like of a way to alter it, like yeah, it, adjust it, adjust it, maybe add chicken or something like that. Okay, so, um, um, people's. Thoughts or reactions? What would your reaction be, Lulu? You won't even taste it. No, People's it thoughts really like and reactions and um, ways to alter it. I won't say improve it because you might not improve it. <laughs> okay, so I'll put that there so I remember. Okay. And that is going to go... You can probably punch hole punch it now. So I might tell you um, how I um, did my measurements because I only have this little sing I find this single hole punch is better than my double one. I wouldn't be able to do it with that one. So I'll just um, oh I like that. Yeah, I like it too. Oh, that's I'm so excited that I was able to do something with the video on because that just freaks me out. Um, so I haven't and I don't like my writing. And I haven't written that. I haven't written on my tabs yet. Does anybody have any suggestions? If I don't like my writing, and I don't think I'd be able to print it out that small. You know what? I can write it. Um, oh, Lily can write it. She's got nice writing. Um. So what was going in here? That oh, couscous. So couscous can go in here. You see? There we go. Oh, I like that. That's really fun. Yeah, it looks nice. So that's cool. I like that. What does everybody think? So. Uh, another job. I mean, oh, look at all these terrible messy. I mean, seriously. What am I up to? What's this one? Red curry lentils. Oh, yum. See, that one's going to be too big. So I'm going to cut out the picture. And I'll probably. I could. I'll probably. Yes, I'll do what I did with the other one. I'll collage this page 
I'll show you how I did that. Why don't we do that? Yeah. I'll collage that page. I won't do the I won't do the right. How long is the video? Twenty nine. Is that too long, Lulu? Lulu is a YouTube expert. She's always advising me, don't be do too long videos, mummy. No, like you can And do don't do random things. Yep. Because people will leave you. They won't love you anymore. I I seen like an hour video, so it's okay you can do long videos. I'll just do one more. One one more little bit. Oh, if you guys would like, you can do longer videos. Well, they can't answer us because we're not live. Yeah, because but... that's that's the next step. But that's just too freaky for me. Well, they can comment. They can comment, but that will be done. We yeah, will have tortured them the next already. Video. So I'm just tearing out some baker's paper, and um, I'm just going to put my glue all over it. Oops. Isn't it fun just doing random stuff where you? Just don't even worry about it. Yeah. You don't have to measure anything. You just tear it and glue it in. The only thing is getting yourself a combination that you like. I would like to put What's some colour somewhere. What's the paper that I gave you? Which paper did you give me? The super paper, the one, Ooh, the I like, one that I've Can got we put too. this piece? Oh, I like yeah, that. Let's nice. put that there. I love. I, this is a, a bit of a strip of Artie Mae's. Left over from Artie Mae's. I'll glue that in. Oh, you could use some of my stickers. So I'll just prepare the page. I won't bore everybody watching me write because it takes a while. Um, and it's probably, I like to use my ink fountain pen so um, to write. So it has to dry. It's better if it no, dries. And I'll just, where's my fruit bag gone? Here we go. Love the fruit bag. And you know what? These these um, papers are really lovely textures to write on. Mummy. They're such lovely textures. You could stick one of these stickers, like especially like for you. Oh. I'm, I like the butterfly. The butterfly. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling the butterfly. Yeah. I like the butterfly. Put that one there. Got lots of stickers. What, what brand are they? Stamperia. Um, yes. That's Stamperia. about all we can buy here. We can't, and they are not a very wide selection either. It's pretty, pretty sad going here. I can't wait to go to Australia at the end of the month and and just go crazy. And go to Spotlight. Go to all these great shops. Ooh, and of course, you. Lulu and I are dying to come to America, and we want to go to Hobby Lobby. Yes. And what's the other one? Target. Target. Which we call Target in Australia. It's, really? it's no, it's Target, but we always say Target because we want to jazz it up a little bit, my sister and I, make it fancy. and make it a little bit more fancy. And um, and then um, we where do we want to go? And we want to go to Michaels. Yeah, Michaels. Because yeah, we looked at Michaels' website, but they don't ship internationally. Anyway, it would cost a fortune, so there's no point. I can buy from a, a couple of good websites in France. I can get a few things, which makes me happy. But it's pretty sad state of affairs here. Purchasing anything. So that's oh, why I love I love that um, I have discovered the um, digital kits. Because I would be lost without them. I like that. So as you can see, I have my standard go-to bits of... That's nice, Lily. I my, my standard go to um, bits of paper. So I need something here. What am I going to put here? Yeah, bit of paper. Like this. That would be all right. But I always like to tear it. I think that would be enough. I'll be able to write on there. And so from the printed recipe in this case, because it's too big um, and the paper's pretty boring, so I don't really need to include it. Um, so I'm going to cut out. Here's the butterfly. And that didn't stick down. I, I'll put the butterfly on in a second. I need to cut out my... Yep. Um, so what I'm going to cut out here is I'm going to cut out possibly the heading because I like the heading to be stand out. I'm going to cut out ingredients and I'm going to cut out uh, instructions and the photo. So I'll just quickly do that. It's 
a bit boring for you guys. I, I have no um, video skills, so I can't speed it up, can't slow it down, can't edit talk it. over it, can't edit it. Um, it's I could it, try. It, well, you probably... Why don't you learn, Lulu? See, I like that. I've been trying to learn, Mum, That's but I'm really not cool. very good at it. Why don't you learn, and then you can work for me, and I'll pay you. Cool. And you can do those sorts of things I'm for me. I'm good at editing I, It might help if I were on screen, so that way you're not just looking at a blank page. So I'm just going to cut this out of here, and I'll cut out my image. I like it when there's a little image you can include, because it's always the image that inspires us. What do they say? You eat with your eyes. So it has to look nice. So I put the image. That's oh, nice. I like that. You see? Oh, you need to add some washi. You need washi. We'll do that last. Yeah, okay. Because um, I have to see. There, actually, there's not too much to write in this recipe. Ooh, so. This nice. Oh, Lily, you're so clever. Leave that out. That's really good. Oh, I'll go look at my washi too. So this will be my ingredients. And then I'll write, hand write, I'll glue, oh, I'm very bad, very bad at cutting. Okay, so that will go here. That will go here, and then I'll write down my ingredients to there. This would be nice. Okay, well just, what does everybody think? So Lulu's brought out, she has a lovely, why don't you bring out your tray of washi tapes and show your collection I've of washi tapes? I've got a lot of washi tapes, not but, really No, just bring the, your favourite ones in the box. So Lulu loves washi tapes, but she doesn't, um... I don't know, she does use them. She decorates jars and and does things with them. Makes cards. Oh, Lulu's are very good. These are Lulu's washi tapes. Yeah. She's a nice collection. Now, the nails. Let's tell the story <laughs> about the nails. Oh, so God, every so often horrible. my daughter does things that she regrets, um, like we all do. And she, well, did you do that at school when you were supposed yes, to be I listening? Oh, that makes me even happier, doesn't it? So um, she, she was supposed to be, when she was supposed to be listening at school, she um, coloured in her nails yes. and she can't get it off. She's scrubbed and tried to clean with the acetate, um, with the nail polish remover and all kinds of good things like that and it won't come off. So It's coming off though. She was a little bit embarrassed to show her hands, and I said, show them. Well, tell them what you did. <laughs> I'm sure you're not the first person to do that. So, anyway, I'm not going to sit down and, and write out all of the recipe, as I mentioned, because that would just take too long. I'll just glue these things down. And this is going to be take me forever to do this little ring binder and it's it's really a small one it's not one of the big ones but it's going to take me forever i mean when am i ever going to have to what do i what am i thinking when am i ever going to have time to do this seriously so anyway i spoke to my mum as i mentioned i'm going home at the end of the month and i can glue this one on um and i asked her um if she had any of um of granny granny's recipes because she used to make really delicious Yorkshire puddings. You would love those, Lily. You never had those. Oh, yeah, um, and really yummy roasts. And she used to make meat pasties and all kinds of great northern English things. And um, and mum can't find it. But she does have some recipes that grandpa had written out for granny. So I'm going to scan them when I go back and put them in my little ring binder which may become two because by the time I start putting everything in um, it will be full. it's going to be full so I'm, I'm going to write all of this stuff out there and I, I won't glue my instructions in until I see where how, much how where I arrive with the writing of the ingredients so I think that's all for today um, I'll plod along and um, I need to make some journals I haven't got any journals left um, and my shop's going to stay open while I'm away. My lovely husband is going to ship everything with, for me. Um, his mother's going to help him. So I have to leave everything really organized and numbered. So, and I have to leave examples of how he's supposed to write the, um, the, the envelope and all kinds of stuff because he has no idea how to mail anything overseas. So, um, 
I've got a lot to organize before I leave. Anyway, I hope this video wasn't too long and too boring for everybody, but um, lots of you were really kind and wonderful, um, giving me lots of great suggestions. So I just wanted you to know that I have written them all down. I didn't bring my book in with me to do this video, um, but I wrote down everybody's name and what they suggested um, so that I could remember because I wanted to include a little bit of everything in there. So. Um, maybe when I've uh, gone on further with the journal, um, or not the journal, the recipe binder, I will do an update and I'll bring my, I'll have my book with me and I will tell everyone, um, say thank you to everyone and, and let you know what I used of your ideas. I think that would be the best. So I'm really happy with how it's working out now. And if you have any further suggestions, uh, Lulu and I would love it. Because in the, at the end of the day, this book is going to be Lulu's. So she's my only daughter. And so she'll have a, a lovely cookbook that's pretty to look at that she probably will never use because she'll have different taste. Anyway, I'm going to sign off now and hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.